Uh, so I'm Dan Hollis, I'm the Building Safety Director at uh, Clarion Housing Group. So I do, I do all sorts of, um, all sorts of um, areas of work in building safety. It's mainly focused on our existing stock, so fire risk assessments, the remedial actions from that. Uh, I do um, external wall system investigations and uh, fixing the external wall system, so replacing cladding. Uh, also do, uh, we have our building safety team in there, so it's both the building safety managers and the, the, the people who lead the safety case. And we've got some particular projects like our digital twin project as well. So overall, lead all those areas for, um, across, across our stock of 125,000 properties. Well, I'm a, I'm a fellow of the CIOB, so always been you know, great respect for, uh, for the CIB and, the, and, their, and the courses. Uh, uh, worked with my colleague, um, Brent O'Halloran, uh, working, uh, working on the building safety strategy. Um, and I'm you know, really excited about the cultural change that we can really embed in, um, in our industry uh, to, to, make a, to really make a difference. It's something which um, this course, you can see it as a way of translating some of the ideas that were in the Hackett, Hackett report right out there into practice and making a, making a difference to uh, people's lives who, who, live in our, who live in our homes. So I really enjoyed doing it on a weekly basis, regular sort of Wednesday mornings, gave me a structure to think about the issues that, uh, that we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, uh, had some great uh, lecturers and a real varied set of lecturers, always challenging, uh, and there was really good discussion between the group. And because we all, all worked for Clarion as well, we were able to follow that up during at different points during the week and talk about those, those different issues that came up. So, you know, really, it's exciting to set the standard on this. Uh, also good to be the first group going through. So, um, you know, it was, um, and it gave me, I suppose, the, a bit of a, um, a bit of a, like, focus on getting back into education, having been out of it now for about uh, 15 years. So I think, um, you know, it set at a standard which is challenging anyone who's already got a, uh, got a construction related qualification. I think it would complement that, uh, you know, very easily. Someone who wants to think about where the, you know, wants to the, perhaps to the start of their career, and where the industry is heading. Uh, I'd say they should take, uh, take a look at this course. Um, and I'd say, you know, anyone who's working in, in building safety really, you know, ought to look at the standards that are set um, in this course and the way that the, the, way that the um, academic, um, uh, the academic uh, elements of it, are, are re you know, can give you that grounding that you need to, to, for the practical application of your, of your work. So I think anyone who's got a construction related qualification um, would easily, this would easily complement that, um, uh, that construction qualification. I'd also say anyone who's at the start of their career really should consider this because this is the direction that the industry is heading in and that'll give real, you know, a real head start when compared to other, other people in the sector because employers will be looking for these sorts, of, these sorts of qualifications in the future. But, you know, anyone who works in building safety, I'd recommend it.